Water is unquestionably the most precious resource that we have. Not only humans, but all other living creatures depend on water. So, of course, it's extraordinarily important that we protect that resource. Here at the University of North Texas, one of the things that we had discovered early on was, well, early on, I would say back in the 1990s, we had started looking at environmental estrogens in our water systems. And we found some interesting things uh, downstream uh, of wastewater treatment plants, we were finding that male fish were becoming feminized. Their, uh, their reproductive organs were being affected. I had been reading some articles in the scientific literature about atrazine being an environmental estrogen. And as I started looking into it more, there was a second issue that came up, and that's breast cancer. So suddenly, it appeared that atrazine might be linked to breast cancer. Atrazine is the most heavily used herbicide in the world. Even the U.S. is a huge, uh, huge consumer of atrazine. And so I thought, let's take a look at where atrazine might be coming from in the North Texas area for our drinking water supplies and see if we can't figure out if there are ways to reduce the atrazine that's getting into our drinking water. So there are multiple environmental variables. We put all of those together in a geographic information system, which allowed us to target the areas that had the highest potential for atrazine to be applied and run off into our drinking water source. So we divided the watershed that drains into Lake Louisville into 37 different uh, sub-watersheds. And of those 37 sub-watersheds, we predicted that seven of them would have uh, elevated atrazine concentrations. After we did that modeling, then we went to the field and we collected samples uh, in creeks in each of those 37 sub-watersheds. And uh, what we found is that there were only five watersheds that had elevated concentrations. All five of those were in that set of seven that we had predicted would have problems. Once that information was released uh, to the city, that's when they started this education campaign was really you know, started with the school age kids. Make sure that your parents know to use the product the way it says to do it on the label. The city contacted farmers to talk about the use of uh, atrazine on their fields. We did in fact see a reduction. I can't believe that the education program didn't help in that reduction. That's one of the rewarding things about working in the environmental field. When you work on a project that ultimately makes a difference that helps protect people, that's a really very professionally rewarding experience.